crossbow's train on you to try not to move. Bones and barrels, Mokak. I can hear your heart beating from down here. Step scared of us in this pit. Of course I am. I am not a fool. Now that I think about it, I don't think I'll bury you two alive. I'll come and collect you two after all this. So, try to keep yourself cozy. Huh, fell right for my trap, didn't you, Selena? Damn it, Trix. Enough of your nonsense. Oh, no, 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 no. Getting hot, isn't it? That'll teach you. That wasn't so hard, after all. The look on Selena's face was absolutely priceless. You may have taken us out first dwarf, but that was a good hit. And did you all see her fall? <laughs> okay, Jundek, you got your fun. Glad nobody reminded you two idiots clashing it out in the middle of nowhere loud enough to wake the dead. I found you too in a matter of seconds. Excellent training session, I must say. A few minor points, but certainly a huge improvement from before. And so this is how it all started. The five of us, training as a team under the sage. We were training to fight the evil that was corrupting the world. Slowly, water was poisoned, the air was polluted, but we weren't ready to vanquish him yet. We had to make our weapons and find the portal to get to him. So this is it. The end game. Today, we fight. We fight for all our people, the future generations and this world. If we die in battle, know that we will not die in vain, for we will vanquish the beast. Nothing left to do but to chuck those night vision potions and jump in. The darkness draws its power from those crystals. We have to destroy them first. Goblin, Dwarf, make your way up those pillars. And we will vanquish the dragon. It was all so well planned out. We targeted the crystals, while Selina and Lightborn attacked the dragon until the first crystal shattered.
one by one. The sage teleported the champions out as they were mortally wounded. We had done our best in the fight, but used too much energy to teleport us out with that. Eventually, Using the last of his energy, the sage saved us and transported us to our temple's regenerative pools of water, where we would rest for centuries till the evil awoke again. But whatever happened to him, nobody would know.